don't bother putting happy family photos of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle celebrating Christmas with the royal family on your holiday wish list this year, because according to reports, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle won't be invited to the royal family's Christmas celebrations. A source told Heat UK that Prince Harry and Markle have been frozen out from the festivities because of the former's upcoming memoir, as well as the couple's Netflix docuseries. Harry won't be sending the family any advanced copies of the book. He's not in a position to anyway, since the publishers want it kept under wraps. But it's already very obvious to all parties that Charles, Camilla, William and many others of the firm are going to find huge chunks of its contents highly offensive. The source added that the back-to-back -back projects of Prince Harry and Markle seem a bit too much for the royal family. So the palace has gently suggested that this year Harry and Meghan stay and enjoy their tofu turkey in Montecito, 6,000 miles away. Harry and Meghan will try to dress it up as their decision, but this is a huge snub. The bottom line is that they've both been banned from Christmas, the source said. For a split second, it looked like Harry might be getting back on better terms with some of his relatives, including his brother Prince William, when the royal family came together in the wake of the Queen's death in September. But the Fab Four's Windsor walkabout was not the magic ship fix so many hoped it might be. In fact, not only are Harry and Meghan's relationships with the rest of the royal family not magically repaired, they're actually near rock bottom according to a royal source. This year, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, will host a Christmas carol service in the late Queen's memory at Westminster Abbey. The Royal Foundation will support the service and recognise the efforts of selflessness of the entire country's public. The Prince and Princess of Wales took to Twitter to invite the public to join them at Westminster Abbey, marking their second year in a row to hold the festive sing-along. The 2021 event featured a special cameo by the Princess, who made a performing debut by accompanying singer Tom Walker on the piano as he sang the hit for those who can't be here. It will also acknowledge the impact of coming together to help one another. The Princess will hold the service on December the 15th, as a tribute to Queen Elizabeth II. The service also aims to showcase and celebrate the joy human connections bring. Rather than announce the news through a traditional written message, the royal couple chose to get creative by posting a video of Westminster Abbey being artfully sketched by a mysterious person. In the short clip, a manicured hand can be seen pencilling a painting a beautiful drawing of the historic London Cathedral, while seasonal music plays in the background. Guests from all over the UK have been invited for their efforts to care for and help those around them. The royal family members will attend along with people engaged in community projects, armed forces, emergency responders and charity workers. Audience members will include people who have worked with the Princess of Wales and the Royal Foundation. The service will have modern and traditional elements which will reach people from all walks of life. In 2021, a number of the younger generation of the royal family attended the concert including royal cousins, Princesses Beatrice and Eugene, and Zara Tyndall, as well as Catherine's own siblings and parents.